Hey fellow sound editors and designers, Benny Knopp here from Noisy Post and today I've got something big to share with you. Pro Sound Effects has released Core 5, the ultimate sound library bundle by Pro Sound Effects. This isn't your average collection, it's packed with top notch recordings from legends like Mark Mangini and Richard King. With over 600 categories, Core 5 has you covered for any project, plus lots of hidden gems. You can access it all instantly through SoundQ software where you can search and send it to your timeline. You can also download the library locally as these files are UCS standardized and they play nice in any search software. The best part? Pro Sound Effects are giving us five bundle options to choose from, so there's something for every budget. I'm personally loving the Core 5 standard bundle. Stay tuned because in this video, I'll dive deep into the Core 5 standard bundle and show you why it's a game changer. For this sound editing demo, I'm going to use my own practice productions, which you can get from noisypost.com.au. And these are pre-existing short films that have been released, and you get the AAF and the MP4 file so you can practice dialogue editing, sound design, as well as re-recording mixing. This short film is The Intentions of F. Scott Fitzgerald by the Perry Brothers, and I'm going to be building up the soundscape using the new Core 5 libraries. I'm also using my 5.1 and stereo downmix template, which you actually get when you purchase a practice production. So we're just going to go through this scene. Maybe we'll let's quickly watch it and then we will uh, start picking some sounds. The one thing to note is I'm using the raw AF. So what you're hearing is what was recorded on set and that the editors have placed in. Are you sure? There's a lot of blood. So we've got a few quick a sound rounds. effects we've got to add in there. Use the pug. We're not using the pug. He saw the photographs, he loves that little guy. Use the pug, we're not going to shoot him. In my 37 years in this business, I've never stooped so low as to hold hostage. Oh, jeez, look at him. Look at, him. look at his cute little face. <laughs> So you can hear there's some gun handling sounds in there already, uh, but we'll probably replace that stuff. So we've got a really clean M&E, uh, which is music and effects track. You'll notice I'm using SoundQ, which is by Pro Sound Effects. This is a great um, database for your sound effects. You can see here I've got all my collection of uh, Pro Sound Effects libraries, but we're going to focus on just the new collections, which you can see here. So I, when I search, it's only going to search those libraries, and we're going to just see what we can create with just the newest of the libraries. Uh, it's a pretty good layout here. We can obviously change the gain. We can change uh, whether our sound is backwards or forwards. We can change the speed all before we put it into Pro Tools. The one other cool feature about this software is you can just press S key and it will spot it into the timeline. So here you can see if you, you put uh, transfer path it automatically puts it into your audio folder within your project, uh, within your Pro Tools project. So that's a really great feature so that you don't have to make sure you've got those files in your project when you want to uh, archive it or uh, back it up. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go through and let's just see what kind of grass sound of someone getting up. I can see if that fits. So you can put fade ins and out if you want as well. But literally we can just find the spot where he sits up about there and we can just press s and we'll spot it right in there there's a lot of blood we have it nice and subtle so i just use the clip gain there you can either press on that and drag or if you put your mouse over it you can also hold shift and alt and do your scroll wheel to turn it up and down not sure if that perfectly fits we'll see what else we've got here Maybe a longer sound there. Let's just add it in below. There's a lot of blood. I'm gonna, uh, that was control M, which mutes the track above. There's a lot of sure. And I'm also sure? just pressing uh, full stop or a comma uh, to move it either side. And if you use the M and the uh, question mark, it goes well, four times whatever you got it set. So I've got it set to a frame. So now I can either move it frame here and there, and you can see I've got a grid in grid mode, mode so that it, I can move things in exactly in a frame. You sure? There's a lot of blood. That's pretty good. 
I'll just uh, I just pressed F and I've put some fades in at the start and the finish sure? just to There's a lot of blood. stop any clipping uh, any clicks. Sorry. Are you sure? There's a lot of blood. We'll go through and add some ambiences. All right, let's go back to sound effects. So we're going to put some sound effects in there. So we first start with a uh, car popping uh, the door. So let's put just car door and see what comes up. Um, let's type in latch as well, see if, no, door latch. Car door open, maybe. Let's try car door again. That sounds pretty good as a latch. Now I'm not really into stereo sound effects unless it's really necessary, say like an ambience. So what you can do is just go left or right channel or you can mono sum them as well. Uh, but I'm going to just add that one in. So I'm just going to press S and then what we can do is find the exact frame. Uh, it's better where it was. Actually need a quick opening door sound. Pretty good. That combination there could work actually. So what we might do is let's just add, if you actually have a stereo sound effect and we just spot it on to the mono, then it still only gives you the left side. So technically I think the right might be in your media pool here, but you then have your, just the mono sound. That's pretty good. Just want to make sure yeah, you want the crunch. We're probably a bit too early on that. We want the... Yeah, that's good. Uh, let's just get the actual sounds. We don't need anything outside of that. And we can just... Uh, maybe I'll... Oh. What I might do is... If we go... I just did Control F there. We can change the fade in and out of these. Let's just put maybe 200 milliseconds and 300 on the back end. Okay, that was too much. Anyone else know their milliseconds? Let's just go 150, 150. What I might do, let's just see if we can get that. We're down in... It's not very low. What we can do is if we want to go clip effects down here, you can kind of add a bit more weight to it. See if there's a better car door opening. That's pretty good. You can hear that the right side's a bit more prominent than the left. So if we take the right side. Yeah, let's get that. Chuck that in as well. We may not need that post sound. I 
Let's boost that. Might even get like, so the latch and the nav have that sound after the fact. Kind of sounds more like it's the door opening a bit. Cool. If you press uh, D or G, it does the fade in. So D does the fade in. So you've kind of got your fades there. So you got F to, f to bring up your fade menu or if you select it all, you can press F like that. Or I can select an area and you press uh, or D and then press uh, G there. Uh, creek. We could. It's an oldish car. We could maybe just add a small bit of that squeak afterwards. That might work. See how we go with that. Okay, now we've got a briefcase being thrown down. All right, let's see. We've got suitcase. Maybe use that short bit of sound there. What if we pitch it down slightly too? Yeah, let's chuck that in. Okay, so that door squeak might be a bit of an issue. Because there's not a lot of time. Let's get rid of that door squeak for now. What else have we got? Well, there's our next, there we go, our next sound effect. Maybe that one's good. Let's give that a try. We're down to Could almost have some camera swishes or something as well, but let's... Maybe let's do two of these. Just wondering if we have one um, that we could pan to the left. It's kind of a the latch on the left. You do that. If we want to quickly do that now, so if I uh, hold control, uh, Windows, Alt, but I don't know what that is for Mac these days, being on a PC, uh, if you click on the pan here, it'll bring up your pan automation and then I can just... Uh, add it here. So you want that hard left because there'll be one on that side and there's one here which is pretty much dead centre so it could be in our centre channel. So if you listen to those two together. That might be a bit distracting having both but it's always nice to have that there. We can also, uh, if you want to change to slip mode or we could stay in grid mode and if you hold... Uh, what is it? You can hold control and that brings you out of grid mode into slip mode and then I can place it more precisely. 
That one doesn't have the double. Let's see if we can try this one and see if it works a bit better. Uh, let's mute that one. You can just pan that to the side again. They're not, it doesn't sound like it's the same recording as in it's a different latch, so it's a bit higher pitched. Just fixing the timing so that they're a bit closer. We're down to many. Let's keep it in there for now, but it may be taking away from that main latch. Okay, so we need some gun handling. Let's go pistol load. I'm wondering whether we use that sound for the gun pickup, like a kind of handling sound. Let's just give that a try, see how that works. It's pretty good there. We're down to many rounds. Uh, let's load that one in. That's good. Just make sure our timing's all good. Bit early. We're down to many. We're down to many rounds. That's pretty good there. Let's add that in. They cox it here somewhere. You can hear the original. The only thing that does have a little bit of reverb in there, which I don't love. Wonder if we could use a little bit of de reverb on this. See if this will work. Bring this into view. Pretty good. Rounds. We're done. Just worried that one's not fat enough. Uh, at least this way you can hear, uh, some of the extra sounds. So just recognizing that this is, this is uh, just the latest library. That's pretty good. Let's see if we can add that one in as well. See if they work together a bit better. Now we just want to make sure we don't have any sound going until he's actually loading it. We're down to many rounds.
We're down. Yeah, I think that extra clicking might be a bit um, bit distracting. So what I might do next is maybe we could make some of these sounds a bit fatter. I'm wondering whether we could um, pitch that down maybe. You can either change your settings here so you can do real-time um, changes. So if we go very speed, what you can do then is go into elastic properties, which are now here, and I can actually slow this down. Got to see, I've already got my pen. I wonder if we add these back in. But We're down to many more. We're down. We're down. Maybe we'll add a swoosh when he grabs the gun. Um, just wonder if there's a... That, oh, that's pretty good. Let's add that one in. Let's hope it's not something we've already got. So one thing you can do as well is if you select that area and then we just spot it, it'll only spot it in that spot. So it means you won't have any extra sound there. Uh, you know that you're um, going to be in the right spot. We're down to many rounds. We're down to many rounds. We're down to many rounds. Okay, so the actual case dropping. We need some more heaviness to that, I reckon. What about body drop? Let's see if there's a body, no, body. I wonder if we could use just the meat of, it's a bit clicky, but I'm wondering if we add in, let's just add in uh, that. What we can do is using Clip EQ here, we can just roll off. I wonder if that gives it a bit of weight. Not bad. Uh, what if we just type in, say, thump? See what comes up. This is like a body hit. Pitch it down. Not too much. Again, it might be a little clicky, but we could see what we got here. We can also use something to say like, um, I love, uh, what have we got? Waves, low air. Uh, I'll be under harmonic distortion, low air, so low air mono. So it'll give us a bigger. Let me just fix these. Let's make them maybe 80 milliseconds. Roll this so that we get most of the sound. There you go, that's good. So now I just press F. Ooh, 
what it could do, let's just use these up. We could get a bit more, uh, like a the grass back in there as well. So if we get the grass footsteps or something, uh, let's go. Oh, that's pretty good sound. Do we need any more than that though? No, I think that sounds good. We don't need any more. Just need a good crunch. Sounds like ice. There's definitely some leaves on the grass there, so. Probably a bit too over the top. Maybe a little. Uh, looks like sounds more like rubble, but that could work. Let's give that a try. If we tail it. Could probably be a lot shorter. It's probably a little dramatic. Just need to get a bit more bite. So what I'm doing, if you haven't noticed, I'm pressing shift S. So when you select a track, you can go shift S and it will just solo that out. Could even be shorter. You kind of, I almost want it right on the attack, eh? Just not a moment before. Brighten that up as well, make it a bit crunchier. We're down to many rounds. We're down to many. Wonder if we need, do we need camera? Let's get a, maybe see if we've got a swoosh. Let me put camera in there, see if there's something. Let's go whoosh. Not arrows. They're not too aggressive, they could work. Let's keep those in stereo because I don't actually mind the idea of those in stereo. There's a little bit of width to them. Let's just chuck that in. So we'll go. They almost need to be quicker, don't they? Let's just go back and bring this in again. They just lose all their body now because we're obviously pitching it up. Should we start with the other one as well? Let's see how that sounds. Might solo it. That one could be a little slower. So again, you can change that to very speed if you want. And that gives you the ability to um, pitch things up and down. Just note that every time you chuck a file in there, it will do a quick um, processing on it. You'll see it go from gray to green as you chuck it in. May not work, it's so quick. Sorry, we want to alternate, so let's...
We're down. Might be too distracting. We're down to. We're down to many. Hmm. We're down to many. Maybe we've got more variety in them. Yeah, we just need, the problem is, this is cool, but we have the same sound over and over again. What am I doing? Press uh, S. wonder if we could do the same thing and we just change the pitch of each one ever so slightly. So obviously changes the time and the pitch, but it means you don't get artifacts because you're doing a more, um, you're not changing, you're stretching the waveform, but you're not taking bits out. The last one could be nice and low. We're down to many... Obviously, I haven't done any editing on these, but you would want to then, you can do that and it'll add fades. And we want to fade in things here and there. Let's get that one all the way out there. It's too much, isn't it? But. We're done. We're done. I don't know, maybe we need something in there. We're down. I think it's because they're all too much the same, right? If we really change the pitch of some of these. We're down a min. Not really aggressive enough, I don't think. We're down a mini round. Maybe something like that could work. Um, I'm really giving myself enough channels, have I? Uh, ch -ch -ch. What you can also do if you want to cheat quickly, just going to duplicate that, and there we go. We got it in stereo, which technically is just mono. processing the audio file or it doesn't like it there we go if I speed this up so at least there's like because this is organic this is fire their inconsistencies is what make them great Down a mini ramp. That works a bit better. I'm assuming in this instance there'd be some sort of score as well, possibly that would ele elevate it a bit as well. This one here needs to just move over a smidge. We're down a mini. to be quicker. I wonder if this one's a bit too late. No. Maybe that 
one's too late. You kind of want it leading into the sound effect, right? We're down to me. That one's too early, possibly. We're down to mini. We're down to mini. Just turn them down, clip gain. We're down to mini rounds. We're down. We're down to many rounds. Well, let's move on because I think I've spent too much time on it anyway. Um, We're down to many rounds. Use the pug. We're not using the pug. You saw the photographs. He Not using the pug. You saw the photo. Just a quick sound. Maybe something like that'll work. You saw the. You saw the photographs. He. So we're replacing that. You saw the photographs. We can clean that out of his dialogue, but uh, and then we've got it in our clean. You saw the photographs. He M and E mix. Use the pug. We're not going to shoot him. Let's go back. Uh, was there that body tap or something? Let's add that back in. Let's have this consistent. Let's put that in the same gun track. Let's get this body hit, which technically is foley. So if we're doing this properly, we'd be putting this in our foley. Love that little gun. And put it here. Use the pug. We're not going to shoot him. In my 37 years in this. Use the pug. We're not going to shoot A bit of cloth movement in there as well, which is nice. So there's obviously flies flying around. So we need some flies. So uh, let's go for bees buzzing. It's got a lot of birds in it. We could probably afford to use the um, birds in the background anyway. So we might even, let's just get this whole lot. Let's chuck the whole lot in because we might keep some of that as an ambience. Technically we should put this in ambience, but what I'm going to do for now is let's find the end here. Let's chuck that down. Let's cut it and we can paste that into our stereo ambiences. Use the pug. We're not using the pug. You saw the photographs. He loves that little guy. Use the pug. We're not going to shoot him. In my 37... Okay, so we can have this at the start of the scene if we want. Are you sure? There's Might a have it quiet. Plans. And then... We'll get the bees here. Years in this business, I've never stooped so low as to hold hostage. Oh, jeez, look at him. So we'll use some of that. Fortunately, it's going to have the birds in it. I don't think I've set up to send you uh, if we want to try and take out the birds. What I might try and do is you might not be able to hear this because the way I've got it set up. Um, so what I'm going to do is just clean out these birds. So we're just going to use our attenuation. I'm going to paint these out. You're not going to be able to hear this because I haven't got it connected to, uh, haven't got this connected to the stream at the moment. Um, but we're just going to get rid of this stuff. So this is all the birds here and we're going to send it back. So now we've taken the birds out of that uh, fly recording. We're just going to put it in here and I might just make it so it cuts off when he hits here, so it looks like he's hit the fly. 
use the pug. We're not going to shoot. He's obviously got some flies too, here. so I've got the fly sound here too. Use the pug. We're not going to shoot. So for the dog sound, we're going to just look up uh, dog. Uh, dog. Uh, Panting. So since it's a pug, we're going to raise the pitch. Let's chuck that in. So let's find our spot. That works well. So we can pan that if we want, just uh, I know I haven't really been that precise on anything like that, but we can pan him slightly to the side. Cool, we might just drop the gain of that. So since we've been here for a while, I'm just going to speed the process up and just show you um, some of the ambiences that I've found in this library. So we've got a um, bunch of beautiful birds, some insects, some more birds, a bit of air. And so one thing you might not notice, but I've actually got this panned in the rear. so. What you can do is for, if you're working in 5.1, it's great to just work with stereo sounds and you can layer it, put some in the front, some in the back. So you can see here, I've panned those to the back, but I've also dropped in, this is a nice quiet forest. This is a 5.1 sound effect. Sounds great in my room. You're obviously just getting a stereo version of that, which my um, template down mixes. So let's just have a listen to the whole scene. <laughs> Sure. There's a lot of blood. We're down to many rounds. Use the pug. We're not using the pug. We saw the photograph. He loves that little guy. Use the pug. We're not going to shoot him. In my 37 years of this business, I've never stooped so low as to hold hostage. Oh, jeez. Look at him. Look at his cute little face. <laughs> cool. So that's it. Uh, I just want to quickly show you, like, this This library is unbelievable. There's just so much stuff. This gen collection, so this is a made up of a bunch of different designers and stuff, and there's just some really cool sounds in it. So it's a quad sound effect. Beautiful beaches. It's got this kinetic stuff, which is just a whole bunch of like whooshes, stuff that you use for rocket ships. Really cool. Then rain, this has got some just fantastic rain library. It's got some cool, like weird, odd sort of, like this is crystals. It's all particles and stuff. So you could use that as kind of like a sci-fi thing. Then there's just like a good mix of multi-channels so you got surround sound um you know 5.1 quads stereo as well this water phone is cool um so if you're doing a horror film or something like that it's awesome that that sound in particular reminds me of um wayne's world 2 
I'm a big fan of the Wayne's World movies, but every time he went into his dream state, that sound would play. So good. I hope you learned something from this session and you definitely got to hear a bunch of great sounds from this Core 5 library. If you want to know anything else about this library, go to prosoundeffects.com. It's really important to invest in a quality sound library. It's one of those things that, you know, is a time suck when you're sifting through really bad quality audio and you're having to EQ and do things and layer so many layers just to make sounds sound good. At least with these libraries, is like every sound is high quality, really well recorded. There's options for surround sound, stereo, mono, and you can still layer things, but you're already working from such high quality sounds. I couldn't live without this library. It really, uh, it's all over all my projects. I'm Benny Knopp from Noisy Post. Thanks so much for joining me. Please hit me up at noisypost.com.au. I'd love to hear from you if you found this video informative. And also you can check out my practice productions and my 5.1 Pro Tools template. We'll see you on the next one.